Hi everybody, this is a ukulele video for year four and five in the schools that I visit and teach the whole class ukulele lessons. Now I know some of you have got your own ukuleles, so I'm doing this video to hopefully keep you going with it. Anybody who hasn't got their own ukulele, and if you're going into school, perhaps um, key workers' children, you may be able to ask to borrow a ukulele, because I know some schools do take them home to practice. Um, if not, you may have a birthday coming up. This might inspire you to get your own. So you can get an average ukulele for about £20, £24, even a bit less on eBay. You might find a second-hand one. So we're going to show you, hopefully, mums, dads, grandmas and granddads, if you FaceTime them, what fun we can have on this fantastic instrument, the ukulele. Okay. So just to tell you that I'm missing you all very, very much. And I, I can't get, wait to get back to school, back into a routine, back to play my ukulele, back to that get up and go feeling I get when I sing along with you. So, boys and girls, we're going to start with a revise of the chords. So let's do our C chord first. Okay, if you remember, I know you will. C, go on, I bet you can put it on without me telling you where it is first. Do you remember? Third finger on the bottom string, third fret. Yeah, nice bent fingers. I know it's not Halloween time, but do you remember doing that? Yeah. Bend your fingers, nice and bent. And we strum all the strings with your plectrum, if you've got one, with your thumb, or with the back of your finger. Now, like me, sometimes I use the back of my finger now, and sometimes I use my thumb. But I have a double jointed thumb, and sometimes I have to strum in a certain way because it comes out of the socket. It's a bit gross, really. So, let's play four C's. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to do F. Go on, tell me what an F is. Put F on before me, if you can. I'll give you a minute. Ten seconds. Are you ready? I'll play it first and I'll go over what we do. First finger went on the second one up, second finger to the top in box two. Is that all right? Nice bent fingers. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we'll do A minor. Go on, tell me what an A minor is. A minor. Take that one off. Easy. One finger at the top in fret two. Is that okay? Do you remember going up to the metal line, boys and girls? If you're in fret two, go up to nearly three. If you're in fret 1, go up to nearly fret 2. If you're in fret 3, go up to nearly fret go on, 4. That's right. So, A minor. And you'll remember which song we did this to. We're going to play it in a minute. A minor was in Happier, one of your favourite ones. And one of our first pop songs we did. Alright, A minor. Then we're going to do G. G was finger 2. Can you get to it quicker than me? You remembering? Finger two. Finger one misses one. Do you remember? They sit in the same fret. Yeah. But they miss one out and finger three there. And make sure again your fingers are up to the metal line, up to the fret. And that one doesn't snuggle up next to them. It just goes over a bit. Ready? Four Gs, all the strings. It's not like the guitar. You can strum all the strings for the ukulele. Then let's do G7. G7 is a bit like G, but a bit backwards. We have to change our fingers. G7 is the first finger on F, like the F chord. First finger there, finger two there, and finger three underneath it at the bottom. All right, that's G7. Can you see that? Yeah, first finger on the second one up, second finger, and then third finger. On the bottom, right? It's not much difference in sound from G to G7. Little tiny bit. Can you hear it? G7's got a lower note. And then we're going to do a D chord, three in a row. Do you remember we had to um, 
overlap our fingers because if you have big flat fingers like that they won't fit in just one fret we want them all in the second fret one two three like that okay up to the metal line so upwards and overlapping a bit like that overlapping if i can show you a bit overlapping one two three and D came into, go on, leaning on the lamppost, we're going to play that one as well. So that's D. And then we've got another one that was in shotgun. And that was B flat. One, two. So the first finger was the second one up like F. And your second finger underneath it. So first and second fingers in the second, oh sorry, in the first box. So it went C. Sorry, F, B flat. Do you remember going from F to B flat for short goal? Okay. Right, get ready. We're going to start with a little warm up of our chords now, changing them. And our first song is going to be On My Ukulele. So, those who take the ukuleles home, if you've got your file in front of you, put your um, Get Your Music Out. If you haven't got your music, I'm going to make the music available um, from the school website for you to download. Okay, so look into that for me and then you, you can get your music ready. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, get on my ukulele ready and we'll just have a little warm up of chords. All right, so let's do four Fs, four Cs. F, two, three, four, C. stuff we try it f two three four and then c we two okay we're ready we can do it so on my ukulele now i like to sit and think about this tell me what kind of beginning this song is does it start on the first beat or does it start part way in if you remember there's a bit of a mistake on this song. I didn't write it, but there was a mistake with the first chord and we all sussed it out, didn't we? So if you tell me that this is a an a go on an a crisis beginning. Do you remember we only start on nothing? We start strumming. So we say now nothing ever worries me. Do you remember boys and girls? So should we try that? Right, Anacrusis beginning, sing now, I'll count us in, and then let's play it, ready? Now nothing ever worries me, and nothing makes me blue, when trouble knocks upon my door, here's just what I do, all together singing, ready? On my ukulele. La 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 
la la So nothing ever worries me And nothing makes me blue When trouble knocks upon your door Here's just what you do Last chorus On your ukulele You keep strumming gaily On your ukulele You tell a la 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 On your ukulele You keep strumming gaily On your ukulele You tell a la 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 Go crazy La Hope you like that one. I do every time I teach it. Now, who I bet needs a haircut? I do for sure. Are you growing your hair, boys? Are they getting quite long? Don't tell me you're putting girls' hair slides in, are you? But yeah, ponytails, bunches. So I think we're all ready for a haircut, aren't we? When we go back, the hairdressers are going to be in big business. I won't mind being a hairdresser actually when we go back. I'm sure, they'll they'll have plenty of work on. So. We're going to now have a quiz and I know we do our Italian words every week that appear in music. So we couldn't have our Italian quiz, or our Italian word quiz before the holidays and I wanted, like I told you, I was going to bring Easter eggs in, I was going to bring little Easter eggs and bigger Easter eggs for bigger prizes and we didn't get a chance to do that but I will find something else that we can do involving chocolate, I promise. So. I'd like you to pause the video and get a pen and a bit of paper and I'm going to ask you certain Italian terms and at the end of this little video I will give you the answers and see if you're right and see how many you get right. Okay, and draw yourself a big star at the end if you get them all right. Okay, give yourself a gold star if you've got any smiley faces. Okay, so... Are you ready? Have you got your pen and paper? Yeah? Right. Can you write down what is the Italian for... What is the English? Sorry, I'll tell you the English. What is the Italian for playing quietly? Quietly. You gotta think. Quietly. Alright. What is... The Italian word for playing loudly. Some of you are really good at these. You remember them every week. Some write them down in the lesson and take them home and practice them. So that was loudly. What's the Italian for loudly? What is the Italian for gradually louder? Gradually getting louder. Do you remember? Turning the volume up. Louder and louder. What was the Italian? Give you a tiny clue, Crit. I'm not saying anymore. Doesn't matter how you spell it, just try. Hard to spell. Next one. Gradually quieter. Turn the volume slightly down bit by bit. A light switch we talked about. Making it go dirt dirt. I'll give you the first letter. Dirt dirt. Some of you will be shouting it out now. <clears throat> okay. The next one is making it jumpy or detach the notes. I played you this. Uh, do you remember that one? Jumpy or detached. St mm, I'm not saying anymore. Jumpy or detached. The next one is smooth, like ice cream. We, we spoke about Italian ice cream, didn't we? Smooth. <coughs> it shares a word with an Italian word for ice cream. It has a different letter at the beginning. Okay. Then we need the Italian word for fast. And I told you about my granddad's car. <clears throat> he thought it was fast, but it wasn't. And it's the name of my granddad's car. Which was a long time ago. Then, the word for very fast. A very fast car. Do you 
remember? It said a very fast Ferrari. And I, it had a vit, 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 vit. I'm telling you no more. Viva. Oh. Then, ready for the next one? Gradually, faster, bit by bit. We spoke about being in a car when you press the accelerator. Accelerator. Has a, it's a word similar to that. And it starts with the same ac. A bit of a clue there. And gradually slower, bit by bit. Pressing on your brakes. Do we spoke about? Pressing on the brakes, making the car a bit slower, bit at a time. All right. Not just suddenly stop, bit at a time. That was Raoul. I'll say no more. Then, two more. That's all we've got. Singing style. And it starts with can, can, can't say anymore. Okay, singing style, can, mm. and then the last one is gracefully, gracefully, all right, and we'll come back to that at the end, gracefully, like a swan, I did a swan dance, if you remember, I tried to do a swan, but as graceful as a swan, okay, hopefully, you'll see what you can do at the end and we'll see how many you get and you can test yourself all right okay so i'll see you in a minute we're going to get our next song ready which is going to be happier see you in a minute okay back again now boys and girls we're going to look at happier okay let's go over the order of chords so it's a minor C I know you remember the pattern A minor for two one two F two and C two three four A minor and an F and a C two three four A minor and an F and a C two three four okay that's the pattern I'm happy today it's nice and sunny we've got some beautiful weather and we've got our swallows back nesting at my house. And if you get this video and you manage to look on YouTube under my name, if mums and dads put it in, I've got a video of my donkeys and my shot and ponies on there and my two rabbits. So if you want to have a look at those, um, you can see what I get up to because I've told a lot of you about my, my donkeys. I know you'll, some of you called after my donkeys, William and Thomas. Those are my ukulele groups and we laugh, don't we, about them. So, you could look those up. So, let's try happier. Ready? We'll just have another practice. One, two, F, two, and C. Two, three, four. Now, when the beat comes in, if we all do the same thing, it'll sound good then. When the beat comes in, we can pep it up a bit. We can go A minor, two, F, two, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, and F, two, C, two, three, four. Is that okay? Right. Let's go for it. I'm going to put him on now. Ed Sheeran. I might sing a tiny bit of parts, but he's a better singer than me. Apart from the neighbours won't mind. Walking down the 29th and Park. Two, three, four, eight, nine, I saw you in another zone. Six. As white as ours, yeah. You look happier. You do. Ain't nobody hurt you like I hurt you. There ain't nobody love you like I do. Promise that I will not take it personal, baby. If you're moving on with someone new, it's baby. So 
waiting here for you as well boys and girls when we're done all this is over i'll be back can't wait to see you all again really can't so that was i've stopped it yeah that's absolutely fantastic yeah fam. all right i hope you've managed to do anyway some new hobbies um do i told the other groups the guitars i do um i bake a little bit try and bake but i'm not very good at it so i'm going to keep trying at that i've never been good at baking I went to All Hallows High School and the teachers still remain, there's one teacher there that remembers me and um, they, they know me for my baking, it was so terrible. I'll keep trying anyway, hopefully. So we're getting nearer to the quiz, but next is going to be uh, Shotgun. So this video is a revise of what we've been doing, just to try and cheer you up, get you back into it. And then I'm going to do another video and post another next week. Um with some harder songs on and get us back into it some fresh pieces all right and ones you've enjoyed as well right get shotgun ready and i'll see you in a minute okay we're ready for shotgun we'll go over the chords um in a moment just wanted to tell you that um when we get back i was looking over the ukulele plans i've done and um one of our videos that we haven't watched yet i'm really looking forward to showing you this when we go back is how a, a ukulele is made and I've got a really nice video for you to watch and it's all in fast motion and it speeds up at times it's got some great music on while this fantastic man called Bart is making a ukulele and um, I think you'll really enjoy that watching that I was looking forward to teaching you that before we finished also make sure that ukuleles are in tune and um, if you can ask mum or dad to maybe help there are apps online that will help you tune them um, because it won't sound great if it's out of tune. All right. So um, I would tune it up. Then you do sound good because all of you do sound good when they're in tune. All right. Ready for shotgun. I've got um, a prop. I'm going to wear my glasses in a minute. Put those on. All right. Um, if anybody has got any props and they would like to wear them, get them out put them on send me a video i'd love to see your renditions of this all right you might have anything hats whatever glasses whatever right i'll put them on in a minute let's explain these chords f b flat finger two sneaks underneath finger number one do you remember and then goes back to f and then what's the last chord? Go on, shout it out. C. Try again. F, 
two, three, four, B flat, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, B flat, two, three, four, F. Are you getting it? See? Good. If your fingers feel a little bit like spaghetti, a bit wobbly, not going where they're meant to, it's only because we've had a rest for a few weeks. See them come back, don't you worry. That's what happens. You have to keep your practice going. B flat, F, and then C. Right, so we'll start off slow, or, you know, one chord. And then um, when it comes to the chorus, yeah, we'll rock it up. All right, okay, let me just get my um, glasses on. I can see you better. Ready? Right, here we go. Right, are you ready? Props on everyone. Get whatever you can, pause the video, put them on. Right, sun shining, George Ezra. Life couldn't get much better. Right, here we go. Come on, mums and dads, everyone jumping around singing. Yep. Hong Kong alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Off, I can see you better now. Right, what we'll do, um, we'll do our quiz now, and next week I'm going to send another video for everybody to watch, 
and um, play along with hopefully keep you going with it i've had some really nice stories um about well, text messages and emails about some of the children i teach guitar to have been um, playing the guitars in the front garden when the nhs um on the thursday night when everybody claps the nhs which um they sent me videos that is so ah oh, cheered me up so much what a fantastic skill to go and you know join everyone was joining in singing and clapping with them so who knows some of you might do that with the ukulele you know ve day i know it's tomorrow but you know play ukulele cheer people up that's what music does to people everybody's cheered up when they hear music so we're gonna do our quiz now are you ready let's see how many you've got right so the italian word for quiet or soft was do you remember piano so it wasn't piano we know what piano is it's piano then loud was forte well done if you got that right then gradually getting louder was crescendo then gradually getting quieter was we spoke about dimming a light switch do you remember making it dimmer that's where these italian words come from diminuendo then jumpy or detached when i played you that hall of the mountain king no or jumpy that was staccato then the next one was smooth, smooth ice cream. Do you remember ice cream was gelato in Italian or gelato? And the smooth in Italian for playing softly, uh, smoothly is legato or legato or legato, I say. Fast, my granddad's car thought it was, it wasn't though, was allegro very fast like a ferrari <coughs> who remembers this one vivace gradually slower <coughs> was <coughs> excuse me gradually slower was ralentando gradually faster pressing the accelerator a word a bit similar like accelerator was accelerando singing style <clears throat> was got a frog in my throat cantabile or cantabile and then graceful was grazioso <coughs> excuse me grazioso all right so we'll finish there um next week i'm really um hoping this video is going to inspire you get you playing show your mum and dad <coughs> auntie's uncles FaceTime your grandparents, show them what you've been doing. Next week, leaning on the lamppost. They're going to love that one. We'll all play that together. And take care, everybody. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you soon. I'm missing you so much. All right, cheers me up in the morning, getting up those early lessons and singing away. Cheer me up for the rest of the day. <coughs> so I'm going to go have a drink, stop this cough, and take care, everybody. Bye for now. Missing you. Bye.